welcome to Zoo to You. My name's Kira. I am a small mammal keeper here at Central Florida Zoo and Botanical Garden. We are currently in front of our spider monkey exhibit, which is home to two black-handed spider monkeys. They will be out in just a moment, but we are putting out some fun enrichment and different food items for them. Uh, one of our keepers is going to come out. We actually made a fun little biscuit shell for them. Uh, it's made out of banana, their monkey chow that they normally get, as well as zoo cream. It kind of looks like a trick cereal, but it's all these fun things that are giving them that proper nutrition that they need. Uh, we're really exciting, but hopefully they'll work on that. Um, Mary Lynn is the keeper that is helping me out here, and she's gonna let her spider monkeys out in just a moment. <laughs> but what's really important to know is that spider monkeys, that name kind of throws people off. They're not related to spiders, so don't worry about that. Uh, but they do have a prehensile tail that's actually longer than their body, and it's gonna very much act like a fifth arm for them. So if you get a good look at their tail, there's actually a kind of like a skin pad at the end of their tail. So very much like the their, their hands will have those skin pads. Uh, it allows them to maneuver very well. They can actually support their entire body weight hanging from their tail. And that is something that you'll see a lot of them do when they're maneuvering around. The other cool thing that they have is that their fingers are really, really long and their thumb isn't a prehensile thumb. It's not like our thumb. It's almost doesn't function as a thumb for them, but because those fingers are nice and long, it kind of acts like a hook for them to climb nice and easily for them. Uh, this is Big Guy. He is our male spider monkey. He is roughly about 39 years old, uh, so he is older. And then our female, who is right now in the hut, her name is Jaja. She's 21 years old, so they are a little bit older. Uh, typically, spider monkeys are going to live to be about 35 years old. So as an animal gets older, one of the biggest things that we want to maintain is their care and their welfare. And one of the best things that we can do for them is make sure that they're getting that proper nutrition. So as an animal gets older, one of the things that does change is that their calorie intake does decrease or change a little bit as they get older, like all of us, but their nutrition and their nutritional needs stay the same. So the biggest challenge now is how do we get them to eat all that proper food that they need to meet all those nutritional needs that they have? So we work really well with our nutrition team to make sure that they're going to get all that proper food. Uh, one of the biggest things that we do for Big Guy is because he's older, you know, you start to lose teeth, your body starts to slow down a little bit, doesn't want to keep up with you. Uh, so chewing on things that are hard, like those chow biscuits, can be a little uncomfortable for the teeth. So we actually soak them and ensure keeps those biscuits nice and soft for you. Uh, and it allows him to get those extra calories because Insure is going to get those extra calories as well on that biscuit but he can eat them and enjoy them without that discomfort in his teeth. The other thing that we do for our spider monkeys is we have two different chow balls that we'll make. One of them is a high cow ball, so exactly what the name says. It's gonna give that high calorie that they need. Once again, your body gets older and you don't really have to keep up, one of the things they do lose is muscle mass, so their weight's gonna go down a little bit, so giving that high calorie ball is gonna give them those extra calories, allow them to gain that weight that they need. And then we also give them a med ball. We're not necessarily giving them medicine in those med balls. Uh, it's more supplements and things that they'll need. One of the big supplements that we will give them is omega-3 oil. And that's really great for their skin and their fur. Uh, so right now, this is our female. Hopefully, she'll check out some of those enrichment items for us. Spider monkeys, they are native to Central America. So you'll find them in Mexico, Panama. And they are an endangered species. Uh, one of the biggest things that does affect them is deforestation and loss of habitat. So they're gonna travel far distances in their natural environment, which is going to be tropical forests, even mangrove forests they'll find them living in. And they're gonna travel those far distances to find that fresh fruit that they have in their diet, as well as any new leaves that they like to eat. So they will eat plant material, seeds, flower buds, things like that, but mainly fruit. Fruit's the biggest thing that they wanna eat. <laughs> they're checking out the enrichment, which is awesome. But at this time, if anybody has any questions about our spider monkeys and what goes into taking care of them, you also might get a really nice shot of that prehensile tail with that skin pad there. Um, it's really important <laughs> for them to grab onto things. It, uh, you'll notice that they'll usually find any way to grab their tail onto anything while they're supporting themselves while they're feeding and eating. <laughs> Big guy's doing a great job showing it off for us. But we'll take our first question. Yes, we have a couple of questions. Uh, first one, Molly would like to know how do we train them? So training is a really big thing that we do with all of our animals here at the zoo. Luckily, they are very food motivated. So simply asking them uh, to voluntarily place themselves on a scale that they'll place in holding with them. 
and then giving them tons of treats. So bananas are a huge reinforcing treat for them, or even grapes. Keeps that positive uh, experience for them. But the other thing is it's allowing them to voluntarily participate in their health care. They're getting everything that they need, and we're making sure they're at that healthy weight. Right. So so these aren't really runners. Um, they do spend some time on the ground more than most monkeys, but they are a warrior, which means that they spend their lives in the trees. Now, that doesn't say that they're not quick at climbing. They're very quick at climbing. Uh, they have that great tail that's gonna allow them to swing from different branches or even props in their exhibit. Uh, Running-wise, it's more of like a fast trot when they're excited or they're trying to move quickly on that ground. Now we would like to know how often do they eat? Smarter monkeys, they're going to be eating food and food twice a day. So they're going to get their full diet in the AM and the full diet in the PM. So they're going to get those shallow biscuits that I mentioned earlier, as well as the extra supplements with those med balls or those high cow balls. But they're also going to get tons of fruits and vegetables. Uh, so you can see Jaja now, she has lettuce buds. They're one of the most favorite things that they like to enjoy as she's stealing them away. They do eat a good amount in the morning and a good amount in the afternoon. Uh, the other thing that we want to promote with different feeders is that foraging behavior that they'll see them do all day long naturally to find their food. Uh, Jackie likes to know, are they a breeding pair? They are not a breeding pair. Big guy, the male, he's actually Joshua's father. They are a family unit, but they're not a breeding pair. Uh, we have a question about who's making all that noise about a spider monkey. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a couple of our macaws that are right next to our spider monkeys, so they're making that very loud rope noise. Spider monkeys do vocalize, though. Uh, they can make a barking kind of sound, and that's going to be an alarm call. They can also make kind of like a, a whinny, which I did hear Jaja make earlier. And that's kind of an excitement. Oh my god, I got some really good food. Let everybody else know that there's a really good high-valued food item, which I just heard her do that nice little whinny. Isn't it a really big guy? There's different vocalizations that you'll hear from them, but the loud ones are our birds. Uh, do they sleep in the same space or in their deck? So they have different options for where they can sleep, but mostly they like to hang out in holding or in their den. You can think of those more like their back bedroom, and they do tend to hang out on the same props when they do like to rest together. But they have their houses here, different shelters that they can decide to take time to sleep in there if they like, or hang out in that back area. Um, here, like to know how long do they sleep and where? So they are diurnal, which means that they're going to spend their day up and about, just like you and I, doing the foraging, getting all their food, um, and they're going to spend their night resting. Uh, so that is going to be either in the den area that, you know, the back bedrooms for them, or even out here on exhibit if they choose to hang out in one of the shelters that they have. So we have Rachel watching. Hi, Rachel. Uh, she wants to know, do they have a favorite keeper? She wants to hit us against me. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not going to do that as much as I would like to say me. That's kind of a cliche right there. Um, but our spider monkeys are very, they're very good. They're um, intelligent in that sense where they're actually the third smartest non-human primate and they have facial recognition. They know who we are and they definitely tell us who we are by our voices as well. So when we're walking up, they get very excited, which is great. Um, but I think they kind of love us all the same way just because we do all that work with them and really work on that relationship. Alright, time for a couple more questions. Um, Molly, another question, do they bathe? With bathing, it's a little bit different. Um, so they're not going to necessarily sit in their pond or anything and clean themselves. But one of the things that we can give our spider monkeys is actually celery butts. Uh, and it's actually really fun to watch. They love the smell and the taste and all that stuff. And Big Eye likes to chew on it and then rub it on himself, like deodorant, and make him smell like that celery. Uh, so that is something that you will see and they'll get all poofy from that type of bathing. That looks like that was our final question. I just want to thank you all for tuning in and supporting us here at the zoo. We miss you just as much as you guys miss the zoo. Tune in tomorrow for the next studio.